Same way you did the last chick and the last chick. So you're just going to put the tip in. You say he's gonna put the tip in. Is that you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the tip in. Yeah. <laughs> and look, Marcus trying to keep a straight face. <laughs> hey, look here, but I, I, I think it's affected by, like, say, you a young cat, first time uh, hitting it naked head, like, like my man said. You know, I mean, look here. I ain't gonna. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be vulnerable. The first time the heifer squirt in my face. Shit, I'm like, God damn. I love that. I said I gotta get, I gotta keep coming back. You know, I think I think in a lot of these conversations, man, we like to we we like we like it to be A or Z. Sometimes it's L. Sometimes it's just somewhere. In the, sometimes it just fucking depends, bro. If I'm going into a situation, I don't even know shorty like like that. I'm just smashing. I don't care if it's raw or not, bro. I'm I don't even know her name. I'm never gonna see her again. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing involved. It may feel great. I'm never gonna see her again. My emotions ain't involved in that. Mm-hmm. It, it just is what it is. And you know, if you a person who you know has a certain type of volume, um, I will say if you to to your point, be uh, be mad. If the more and more you do it, you do kind of start to feel connected. Now you can still disregard that because you can feel connected to a lot of women at the same time. You know what right. I'm saying? Because so you can disregard that. So in that respect, I will say it does affect you, but you can compartmentalize it because you may feel connected to a lot of women at the same time. So you may be affected by more than one partner at the same time, which sounds ratchet, but kind of is what it is. It is what it is. And, uh, and just to add on to it, I don't think a lot of men like to lose, and then including their women. So uh, I just think that a lot of men like to take ownership sometimes when they when they mess around with these women, they think. I know it's easy said and done. She for everybody, right? They'll say that, but in reality, it ain't matter. They're not thinking that. They'd be butthurt if they found out like they man's hit. I mean, how many times you and been, you guys been to college? How many times has been has been that one guy mad? Like, man, like, you know, I was fucking with her. Like, man, she for everybody. What you what you mean? When you brought her over there, when she came back to the frat house, you <laughs> You knew what time it was. Yeah, that's some boys. Yeah, some I was hard. 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 We hit it. We hit people hitting it raw more often than not. What, what she, she did that one special thing. She's that one special right. thing with her tongue, and he thought he was yeah. special. He thought he was different, but it's like, man, that's a signature move, bro. You didn't know exactly. That's that's it. I mean, look, man. Mo- most of the time, dudes is hitting it raw. From my, you know, from what I'm understanding. You, I mean, maybe it's oh, no, the talking about this raw shit for about fast five minutes now. Sorry. Maybe it's on the <laughs> fourth time. Maybe it's on the fifth time. But bro, you taking that rub off at some point. You know what I'm saying? It's the same way you did the last chick and the last chick. So you just gonna put the tip in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you say gonna put the tip in. Is that you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the <laughs> tip in. <laughs> and look, Marcus trying to keep a straight face. <laughs> Hey, look here, but I, I, I think it's affected by, like, say, you a young cat, first time uh, hitting it naked head, like, like my man said. You know, I mean, look here, I ain't gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be vulnerable. The first time the heifer squirt in my face, shit, I'm like, God damn, I love that. I said, I gotta, get, I gotta keep coming back. I gotta keep coming back. That was an experience. I Dude, yes. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, it happens. I was a young cat and she did that. Man, I'm like, God damn. Yeah, I want that again. Yeah, I'm going to hang around. Bro, bro, you got pissed on See, in your face. You got to feel that, huh? You had to feel that again, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Feel light skin pee. I call it light skin feel pee. Different. It feel different. Yeah. <laughs> it's a mixture of pee. There's usually a little yeah, piss on, man. Man. It's just a little bit. It's just a, it's just a it, twin. It's glorious, my, my man's an R. Kelly fan over here. Hey, what, what <laughs> he was rubbing it in his ch- in his face, and that's how he got that beard later on. Man, I'm telling you, I ain't got no problem. That beard all right there. I got I him, hey, that's that he got that beard all right there, He was rubbing right. it in early as a that's young how, cat. He was like, oh, right back that in. Hey, I, I, my head. Head. I cut mine down. Gave him that growth. Yeah. They gave me that, that growth. That's for that condition. They gave me that good condition. <laughs> got in my nose, but that's okay. I got I got plenty of tissue. <laughs> 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 
Oh, man. So I was, so was going to say for this, this one, um, I feel like I get more emotionally attached the more the, like, fantasy is going on. Uh, like, the more I have the fantasy of, like, the woman being perfect. Like, if she ruins the fantasy, if you find out that she's a hoe, if you find out, you know, like, like as long as she doesn't have a bunch of hoe pictures up on her Instagram and, like, but then you find out she has the only fan or something, you know, like, it's all about the fantasy. <sighs> for me like i'll become more emotionally attached to her the more i feel like she's really down for me the more i, I picture her as this perfect like wife and mother and stuff like as long as i see all that i'll become pretty emotionally attached to her but like just a hoe that's just like coming around or she's just fucking you or just like fucking your dick or something like that like and like you can tell she's just a hoe or like she talks to you about how she does this a lot or something like that it's like the whole fantasy is ruined i have no emotional attachment to you you're just you're just a harlot like it's nothing special now. All right, so like, perfect it's, it's all about fancy. Let me ask you yeah. this, okay? Because sometimes you can find out she may have whole tendencies in the bedroom. So what if you you smash and she'd be like, "Fuck me, fuck me." Would you? Would that change anything? Or would you think she's just regular? It's pure. Uh, it, it depends if she's hypersexual or not. Like if she's doing that and it seems like it's not that that like uh, common for her. And like, uh, but if she's not a say comment, comment when somebody's saying, Fuck me, that's your okay. first time knocking it down. It's, harder. Harder. it's harder. probably common then. If it's probably common for her, then and I would say she's probably hypersexual, and it would be a red flag for me. Like, I don't know if I'd want to be with a girl that's hypersexual because I feel like she probably had a lot, a lot of sex, a lot of bodies, and like, yeah, like I, a lot of girls with personality disorders are like this. Purpil, come on, man. Purpil, about purpil. I can't hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, you know, sometimes you know, sometimes you know, it don't have to be that amount of bodies. It could be one person. She just probably had a lot of sex with that, and one or two people. It could have been right. some. It could have been somebody that was experienced that may have put on, broke her in, and she learned a few things. You can't really determine. That's why you you can't date a woman and thinking that you're gonna actually know her body count. You gotta ask a lot she of could, questions. She could be, she could be a lady in the streets and a freak in the sheets. Well, it, it, it's so, all about I mean, like, it's all about playing like the friend thing and like for the first week or two and like trying to be cool with them because when you do that, they'll reveal everything. And once they like the girls who really guard themselves, they know better. Like they're super smart about hiding things. But like some girls are really dumb. They're so down for you. They just want to be honest. Like you be honest to them, and then they're like, "Oh, I'm gonna be honest back." You're like, "Oh yeah, I had this hoe experience where I did this, blah blah." And she's like, "Oh, now I get to share my hoe experience from the past." It's like, no, you I'm an idiot. Like, it like that. I'm at these young girls. Uh, yeah, perfect. The young think ones are think you gotta get them to say. You know, think about the woman that had the strict parents, right? And she's been maintaining this lifestyle her whole entire life where she's been restricted, a virgin. And so she has practice in doing this. When she, gets, when she becomes an adult or she's able to make her own decisions without any interference with her parents, sometimes that woman may go wild. So then when you meet her, she's already accustomed to playing that role that she's been doing her whole entire life. And that and, and those bodies might have came within a time frame of five months. She might have had grabbed like 12, 15 bodies. So you, you can't really lean on she's going to come out within the first couple of weeks because she's been practicing majority of her life being restricted. And, and, and now she's embarrassed about it. So the last thing she wants somebody to know is that, oh, I wasn't raised like this. I don't, I don't want him to know that that was a part of it. So she can mask it pretty well by just because she's been doing it for the majority of her life. So you can't really, I just I just think it's just uh, men shouldn't really ask the woman about her body count or determine. I mean, if you see some signs, that's just something you might want to know to yourself. But realistically, if you're too far ahead, you probably ain't going nowhere. I mean, especially if you already proposed to us, something like that, or you married or you got kids with her, you just hope nobody, you come across nobody that'd be like, damn, that's your wife? <laughs> 